The sting only lasts a few seconds, but the irritation sticks around long after she's gone. Ever wondered about the science behind a mosquito bite? Female mosquitoes use specialized sense organs to hone in on the best spot on your body to probe for a blood meal. She uses substances on the surface of your skin as indicators of where she is most likely to strike blood. Once she lands on you, the female mosquito spits on her victim's skin to numb the area where her thin, sharp proboscis will go in search of blood. But finding a blood vessel on the first attempt isn't always easy. The hungry mosquito moves her needle-like proboscis around in your skin tissue searching for the ideal place to tap into a blood source. When she does find a blood vessel, she injects saliva to prevent clotting and to keep your blood flowing. She then uses a specialized pumping system to suction blood cells up through her feeding tube. This system is so powerful it can cause a blood vessel to collapse during a meal. Feeding will continue until her belly is full, or until she's noticed and slapped. A female mosquito can take in two to three times her body weight in blood at a single feeding. Now, what about the itchy bump you get after the mosquito bite? That is caused by your body's immune response to mosquito saliva, which is an allergen. During an allergic reaction, the immune system releases fluid and cells into the site of the bite to destroy the foreign substance. This extra fluid in cells results in the swelling and itching that accompanies a bite. And if you're wondering why some bites are bigger and itchier than others, it's possible that the mosquito had to move her proboscis around to find a vessel, which means that she spread more saliva over a greater area. Most times the sneaky pests get away with all of this without being noticed. By the time you feel anything, you're scratching. <laughs>